important one. Somebody's asking on Twitter, I think the hardest thing to understand into CSS are the float and position absolute relative for, for a guy new to code. I, I, we could talk about that. That's a little bit talk more Talk about advanced. that a little bit. It's from uh, Cosman Madeline, uh, one of our viewers. So the float, uh, the float and what was it that she said? He. Oh, it's he. a he. Sorry. Uh, I think that the hardest thing to understand in, in CSS are the float and position. And positioning elements. Okay, that's really interesting. I mean, basically, when you have any type of container or element and you assign it a float, it's basically going to push it to one uh, of either side. Like you can assign float left, and it'll push things to the left of the row with, uh, in which it's in. If you apply, if you have a consecutive list of items and you apply float left to all of them, they're all going to stack next to each other. So that's a uh, great way to do, for example, navigations. Uh. Right. Um, so you're, you're expecting it to be below and then right. to go to the left, and you have to put a break in between it. Exactly. But what it's doing, in the di and you don't want to use breaks to do formatting. You're right. using CSS primarily. Right. It's putting them all next to each other, so that could get confusing. Exactly. That's actually Got a really it. good point. Like Something also that's important to understand at a really basic level is that HTML is composed of inline and block level elements. Block level elements will always render in a new line. Inline elements will always render next to each other. So if you have some text and you add a link, a link is an inline element. It'll be it'll right be next, right to, next it'll to it. It'll be in line with yeah. the rest of the text that you're writing. So that's a really good point. The block level elements, when you assign floats to them, a float left to a bunch of block level elements, they'll all stack next to each other really nicely. So to do a nav or something. And the absolute versus relative? Absolute versus relative. When you do, at a really basic level, absolute means the absolute area of the page. So for example, if I assign something, um, I'm telling something, you have a position absolute 0, 0. That means like top 0, left 0. It's going to put it at the very top left of my page. Relative means relative to the position where it is currently. right? So that's the big difference there. When you say position absolute and you have an element here, it's going to push it globally with respect to the whole page. When you say relative, it's like relative to the position it's in. So for example, relative is a great way if you, for example, you have an icon, you assign an icon and you have a link next to it, and the icon's slightly skewed, mm. you can apply like position relative to this guy and just tell him, you know, just move it a little bit, like a couple pixels relative to the position where it's in currently. Got not it. Not absolutely. It's not absolute to the position of the frame, of the whole it's the page. relative exactly. to where it's located.